Hey everybody, this is Sensei from Laidback Customs and Extreme Wi-Fi. I've been wanting to do a video because I've been getting a lot of emails about people wanting to set up a paid hotspot in their apartment building or their business. So, thanks to the great people at HotspotPA.com, they've made this video possible for me to show you guys today. You have several options. You can either have your own router, a WRT54GL or a Ubiquiti system, the same as I'm going to show you, and you can upgrade their firmware to the router and you can configure it yourself. But in the interest of time today, we're going to show you one of their pre-configured systems that you could buy directly from them at hotspotpa.com. What we have here today is the Pico Station 2HP. This is a 1,000 milliwatt access point. It's completely waterproof and it's the smallest of its kind. We also have a 6 dBi omnidirectional antenna with a waterproof O-ring inside. All you have to do with this is screw it on here. If you'd like with this system, you can always use a pigtail and an external antenna to boost your DVI gain. This unit also has on the back a flat mount mounting bracket, or it's got the divot so that you can use a stainless steel hose clamp to mount it to a pole. The unit has a power cord. power over ethernet injector. This here use, makes it so that your ethernet cable uses the two unused twisted pairs and they run the power up to the unit so that you don't have to bring a power up to the unit so that this can be mounted in your closet or in your room. The unit also comes with two ethernet cables and a set of instructions that show you how to set up your unit makes it really simple and quick. This unit will take you about 20 to 30 minutes to set up and it's fairly easy. Right now I'm going to go outside and I'm going to show you guys how to mount my unit onto my house so that you guys have a step-by-step -step of how to do that. Once we are done with that we're going to go into the room and I'm going to show you how to hook the modem up to the unit and configure the system. Okay everybody, here we are. We're right outside my house. Right here I've got some wood that's built up so that I can get a nice flat mount. I've also got right down here, I've got the ethernet cable that I built. This one here is indoor ethernet. I would suggest you get outdoor ethernet, but this is what I had at the time. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this here, with this bracket, we're going to take a small level like this and we're going to put this here and we're going to find out right where this unit is level. Once we get it straight up and down like that I know it's going to look crooked on there but with the level it's right Take one screw, put it on here, and carefully mount it right into place. Take the second screw, hold it, mount it into place, make sure the top one was in tightly. Now, all we got to do is take the Pico station, make sure it's ready, grab your line. This one here, I've had it out for a couple days, so what I did was I put a little plastic on it, put a bread tie on it. That way, no water would get into it and pretty much mess it up. Unravel your plastic. Make sure you pick this up when you're done. 
you grab the Pico station. On the bottom, you're going to have an Ethernet port. And right up there, you've got a reset button. This here plugs right in to your unit. Once it's in there, make sure it's firmly in there. Take your cover, put the cover down on it, make sure it lines up, snap it right into place. Your Pico station, now just take it, slide it right in there. And if you have cable straps, I advise for you to mount your cable right underneath your soffit. And that's all there is to mounting your pieces stage. Alright guys, what I've got here is I've got I've got cable internet. So I've got my cable line and I've got a Ethernet line that's going to my Pico station. I just mounted up top. It goes up here and it's actually all ran through my attic. That way when I put it all together, I've got this nice little shelf right here in my closet so I can put everything nicely and neatly together. I'm going to show you guys right now how to put this thing together. Take your cable modem and take one of the lines that's supplied, one of the Ethernet lines that they've supplied because we've already ran another one so we don't need the second one that they gave us. We're going to plug that in there. We're going to take my cable line that's coming and we're going to screw this right into the cable port. Once this is done, all we have to do is take the power supply that goes to my cable model and plug it in. It's going to start running just like everybody else's. Most likely will do as long as it's working. And we're going to put this up and out of the way. Now all we got to do is take the power cable to our power over Ethernet injector and we're going to plug it right in like this. The line that we have going to the modem, to this PoE station, is going to plug into your LAN port. Your line that's going to your Pico station is going to go right into your PoE. We're going to put this up here, out of the way, and plug it right into the power. Now what's going on is it's going to take about two minutes because Right now, it's going to take the internet and it's going to run it up here and it's going to power up the Pico station, our access point. And what's going to happen then is the Pico station is going to have to run through and it's going to have to connect to the servers. And the servers are going to have to verify over at Hotspot PA. And once that's all done, you're linked up and we are ready to configure it and get our hotspot up.